motto here, the motto construction, we're going to be wrapping this window with some aluminum trim coil. And this is a little different bend than we usually do, so uh, I, I figured I'd kind of show you how we do some of these more intricate bends, how we keep all the measurements straight, and, and how we figure it out. So what I want to do is I want a nice tight fit against this glass, and we're going to make this all, we're going to take a, a flat piece, and we're going to make it fit around here, all in one nice piece, nice and clean up against the glass. So we just start pulling, pulling measurements and, and drawing a little diagram. We'll have hems each side against the glass. You know, start pulling your overs and your ups. Get all your measurements down, get you your blueprint. Once, once you have your blueprint set, we'll head over to the table and start marking it out on a full sheet. And hopefully this all comes together as planned. All right, so we're back here at the, at the bench. We lay out our material, 10, 10 foot sections. Our break is uh, 10 foot six. So 10 foot just seems to work out with everything. Um, I'll take these measurements and I'll just start on one end. And I'll go with an inch. After the inch, we go inch and five eighths and so on and so forth. And just I just keep laying out every measurement gets transferred trans transfer 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 down this is kind of my cheat sheet that i make for a more difficult bend i take a piece of flat coil and i put a bend at the top and what this will do is once we have our our cheat sheet marked out our bend now i can go to my my stock that hooks right on there I hold it nice and tight nice tight square and then now I can just transfer all these measurements onto my stock so at every line I make a crow's foot and this will be consistent I need to mark both ends and then I'll flip it over because some of these bends are inside bends, some of them are outside bends. So I'll go ahead and I'll transfer all the marks, both ends, all sides, just to try and keep everything straight. So then I'll come down here and I'll do the same thing. I put it on tight, square, hold it flat. Put a crow's foot at every one of my marks. Small enough so it could be erased, but big enough so you could still see it. Now flip it over. When I flip it over, I have to keep in mind which edge I hooked on. So when I flip this sheet, now I need to be hooking on my, my belly side when I make these next measurements. Now we hook on belly side, make sure it's tight, square, crow's foot. Other end. Gotta be, you know, if you're gonna use this jig, it's very important that every time you're staying tight you're staying consistent. You really pay attention to every little detail. Now we'll take this into the break, cut it to overall length, and get to uh, get to bending this thing up. So here we are back in the uh, back in the trailer at the break. The uh, first thing that we'll do, cut it. To length then we'll do our hems on each end and then we'll get to bending I got my right hand man giving me assistance is a lot easier I um, one guy it's really hard to be on both ends of the brake one guy can do it um, but especially with some of these longer and more intricate bends it's always nicer to have four eyes and four hands 
Just a score with the knife. It doesn't got to be crazy. And I always like to come in from both ends so I'm not cutting into my brake and, and putting extra wear and tear on the hinge. Right, this is where we're going to fold this over on this edge fold it over make a nice tight crisp edge where it's going to go up against our glass we'll do this on on both sides make this tight hem um, it's just way cleaner than a a cut edge it's stronger it's cleaner and it'll stay straighter thing we do is we brought our we brought our blueprint in here and we put it in front of our face so we have a picture so we can keep track of is this an inside bend is this an outside bend because um, this gets a little bit confusing when you have to flip the piece around to do insides and outsides uh, and, and still have room in your brake to make the bends There you have it. Looks uh, like the picture. It looks like we did okay, made all of our bends right. Uh, now we'll take it out there and do a test fit, make sure we didn't screw anything up, and then we'll make another one to match. And then we'll do the install. All right, so we got our piece back out here. I uh, cut a piece off the end. We made it a little longer than I needed to do it. A test fit and sometimes you need to do a little bending and flexing uh, just to make sure all your angles are what you want them to be it's tight where you want it to be tight that thing's gonna sit on there real nice over here on this edge you know this is where that we're back this is where that hem is more strength nice straight crispy edge it's gonna fit right tight up against that glass and we're gonna be able to put a real nice cock joint on that when we get it finished. And it looks like that on, on both sides with that hem. So we'll do notching and whittling to get our piece to fit. Just tack a couple nails where, where we have to. Uh, maybe put a couple dabs uh, silicone behind it just to, just to keep it on there, keep it from bouncing and flapping and uh, that's how we do it. Uh, maybe we'll get a little more in depth on the install on the next video on cutting and fitting and installing, but that's how we get them bent. It's Tony Amato, Amato Construction. Check us out. Uh, Amato Construction Facebook. Uh, Amato.construction on the um, internet. That's our website. Check us out. Uh, hit us up. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Uh, anybody you know needs some windows, aluminum wrap, hit us up.